Welcome, this is Stratman from metatrader.pipware.com just going through the multi-mode settings for the mini charts that we've created. Uh, you can see in front of you right now a single chart window with six mini charts overlaid. Uh, the, the, or the indicator we have has the ability to have 30 charts shown all within the same window. If you've got an, enough real estate to do that, like um, I use 1920 by 1200 monitors for my trading, and I can fit all those 30. Um, so I'd probably have six columns by five rows. Um, that works well, five times six, 30. So let's have a look at what we might be wanting to try and set for each of these. Well, for a start, we've got to make a decision on how many columns and how many rows, as I've just described. So we must have some kind of setting to do that. Uh, we've got the ability to change the currency and time frame or time period uh, for each individual chart so we need a way of doing that within our indicator. All the other settings that are described in the previous video uh, like chart width, chart height, heading X, heading Y, corner X and corner Y all work exactly the same for uh, the multi-mode setup. Uh, the only uh, slight difference would be to consider that if we're referenced to the top left corner then we're talking about the whole grid of charts as being the distance x and y, corner x and y out to it. Let's go and take a look at the settings. Just going to move that off the side a little bit so we can actually see, see some of the chart stuff. Right, <clears throat> so if we have a look here um, and go down to We've got all the common settings in the center there. Uh, what we really need to be looking at is down here where we've got a heading for multi-mode parameters. So we've got a value here for the number of columns we're going to have. So this is how we're going to lay out our grid uh, by two rows. The spacing between the columns, we can have, have uh, that entered there and the spacing between the rows this is the area where we need to start considering every single chart. Now the charts are labelled 1 through to chart 30. So 30 charts. Each chart we're able to give what currency or symbol we want for it and the time frame we want. In this case you can see that my top row here I've got Euro USD M15, Euro JPY M15. So in here first chart, which is chart 1, the symbol for chart 01 is Euro USD, time frame is M15. I think this should be pretty self-explanatory. If we go down through our chart list, we can see that as we get out to chart number 4, we've got USD, CHF and D1. Now obviously, because we've got a grid of 3 columns by 2 rows, we're considering that the charts are laid out 1, 2, 3, and then number four should be down underneath these two windows here. So if we continue, if we had a grid of say four by three, we would have 12 charts, we'd fill out the first 12 with the time frame and the symbol. Quite straightforward. Now let's have a look at some of the setups that we've seen around. It, it, it kind of covers most of the stuff we've got, but let's, let's have a bit of a look. So we've got a three by two here. Um, another multi-chart setup might be something like say this one here. We've got three charts down the down the right hand side. They're all of the Euro USD currency. We've got Euro USD on the main chart. So let's have a look at our, our indicator and see how that is set up. Okay, so clearly we're going to see that it's multi-mode because we've got more than one chart overlaid. Um, positioning, corner X, corner Y. Well, is the corner X, corner Y. Width and height. That is the same for all charts, whatever you set there. The heading, we talked about that before, it's the distance out from the left side of the chart to the anchor point. Anchor point in this case probably being right there for the heading text. Carry on down through and if we have a look at our multi-mode parameters, we're looking at one column by four rows. Now I could have said three rows or five rows or ten rows, it doesn't really matter because the only visible ones are three here, so if we added more than three, um, we're just kind of wasting a wasting space. They're probably going to get drawn, but they're drawn off the screen. Um, as we can see, we've, we've seen a bit of a movement on the Euro USD right now. 
um, and these charts are live so we've got M15 and M5 showing that there's a there's been a bit of movement so what do we do well if the currency that you're wanting to display on the chart is the currency of the main window or of the main chart which is euro USD you don't really need to type it in you could type it in not going to really do any it's not going to make any difference um, I just look if that's blank and uh, Put it there as the main chart currency. If I change the second one, say GBP USD, which we're quite allowed to do, we should see that the second chart changes to the M15 GBP USD, and the first one remains as the Euro USD. So it's kind of how we do it. It's, there's not really a a lot to do here. We can take that back out again because we don't really need it there. We just know that it's going to be the the main one. Um, and take that back out and there we go we can change the time frame of the top chart we might decide we want it to be the weekly so let's have a look see what it looks like there you go so very straightforward um, just might mention something about the scaling uh, when we've got the little dots here they're representing one pip um, the larger dashes are representing 10 pip distances so we've got about 15 pips there these are 10 pips each, one, two, three, four. We've got about, I guess, about 40 pips height there on the M15. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that discussion on the multi chart or the, the, the uh, mini charts in multi mode. Um, this is Stratman signing off from metatrader.pipware.com. Thank you very much for listening.